All right, good day, YouTube viewers. It's been a minute since I've made a video. Oh, and, uh, yeah, quite a while, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I uh, decided to drag my boy into some crazy audio shenanigans again. Elijah, what is the topic going to be today? The uh, topic is going to be near field audio versus big field audio. Big room audio. Big room audio, and then... Finally, headphones. Finally, headphones. So, to explain that in terms that you can understand, we listen to music in my big room with the bigger speakers. We listen to music in my office on my monitor slash computer speaker slash bookshelf speakers. And then we listen on headphones. And by we, I mean Eli. I made him do all of the listening and everything so he can talk about his perspectives from somebody who doesn't know all the terms, who doesn't understand, who doesn't necessarily understand what he's going to listen for, and he'll give you his points of view and what he liked. So, um, Elijah, do you want to get up and show some of the music that we played today? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and go grab the records. I'll go grab the records. To clarify, in the big room, we listen to records, and in the near field and the headphones, we listen to digital audio. Digital audio, yeah. I don't have a record player upstairs, and my digital quality uh, is not good down here because I don't have a good streamer down here. So down here, we had to pick stuff that I had on records, and then we picked a, we made a playlist upstairs that was all the stuff. So I tried to do a selection of music to try to get a varied, uh, varied list of genres so Eli could hear different kinds of music. He might like one kind of music downstairs in the big room more. He might like another one on headphones more just depending on what it was. I wasn't sure exactly how he was going to respond but we started out with some pop music. So I got uh, Taylor Swift, the 1989 album and from this album we played Blank Space. That was the most fun. <laughs> All right. Elijah, what is that one? Go ahead. You can go ahead and show oh. Uh, this is Avenged Sevenfold. What are we listening to with this one? A Little Piece of Heaven? A Little Piece of Heaven. So yeah, so that was like our hard rock, like heavy stuff, kind of dynamic, a lot of stuff going on, louder. I thought for sure he would like that one in the big room. This is Rachel and Bill Ray. What, what was it? Uh, we listened to uh, Do Fools Fall in Love. So this is an awesome vocals track. Two people singing, minimal instrumentation, really good singing. Um, my prediction, yeah, my prediction was that he was actually probably going to like this one on the headphones. And so, uh, classic Phil Collins album, and of course we listened to In the Air Tonight, one of the uh, nice classic rock tracks. I had no clue where he would like that song, for, to be honest with you. And for instrumental stuff, I picked some jazz music from the Cowboy Bebop album and we picked uh, I picked Space Lion um, on that one just because of the way the Kess perform I thought he would probably like that one upstairs and it turns out he didn't like that one at all so, <laughs> it so without further ado let's go over the uh, listening systems that uh, we used to do all the listening today Okay, so for the first listening system today, this is my downstairs listening system. Um, got the Zoo speakers. These are the Omen Dirty Weekend speakers. Behind the Zoo speakers, there is a SBS SB2000 sub. There's a sub behind each speaker in the corner of the listening room. Um, the records are played on my Marantz turntable. This is a, a TT something. It's the fancy... One that looks cool. Um, I have a shit audio uh, Manny phono amp and I'm still just playing it on my uh, Denon receiver. I haven't upgraded my Denon receiver yet. There is a lot of furniture in the room to absorb sound but I don't have any room treatment in this room so there is still um, some echo. It's not the perfect room for listening to music. I enjoy it enough but I still have to. This is my living room that I share with my wife, so it still has to be attractively decorated and everything else. Part of the benefits of being married. Benefits. Yep, benefits. And the echo actually plays into 
some of the stuff later when we go over the listening impressions. Now we'll go upstairs and look at the near field and the headphone setup. Messy. Your face is messy. Oh. I know. Upstairs, we have my near field and my headphone listening setups. Um, the speakers are some classic Cap LS 50s, not the new ones. I've had these for quite a while. Uh, the Cap LS 50s are fed by a amplifier that's underneath the desk. It's a DIY ice powered uh, Class D amplifier. That's fed from a DIY subwoofer. The uh, subwoofer amp filters the low. It has a low pass filter. Filters out the high pass to the Kefs, I have them crossed over pretty low, but yeah. And so that's all fed by a Savage DAC, which comes from the computer. The Savage DAC is also a headphone amp. Headphones are Odyssey LSX. Way more expensive than they should be. No, because they're really good. Way more expensive than you should have paid for. No. Because they're really good? Because they make me happy. <laughs> if it makes you happy, then it's not too expensive. And so that's the setup up here that he listened to music on. So now, with uh, out anymore, we'll go down and talk about some listening impressions that he had with the music in the different areas. All right, so we're back downstairs in the living room. Eli has done all of his critical listening. He's listened, listened to the tracks multiple times on all the different systems. He's got some ideas for how he feels about them. Um, one disclaimer I want to make about this video is there's absolutely nothing scientific about this video. Uh, the mediums that we used were different. We used a record player in the downstairs versus digital music upstairs. The recordings were going to be different. The tracks, um, I could tell you right now, like on one of the recordings, I totally just prefer the, record, uh, the recording of the record. All that aside though, we're only going to try to concentrate on the big room versus the near field versus the headphones. That being said, I'm going to grab a record off the top and we're going to talk about that record and the different listening environments. Elijah, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, on the top, we got Tay Tay. Tay Tay. So, right. Tay Tay, you want to start with the big room, you want to start upstairs, or you want to start with the headphones? Well, I'll start with the ones that look the same. Okay. I didn't notice a difference between big room and near field. You didn't notice a difference between big room and near field. Yeah, because this song had significantly more bassy parts of it that that uh, shook a room a lot, and that was the thing that I had um, I had a lot to say about. They had so much vibrations on the floor, especially in the big room. Since I mean, in the small room, since the subwoofers right next to your feet. Yeah. Um. Other than that, they the both of the rooms make the sound effects really pop, and um, that was big field and big field and near field. But for headphones, I have to say I know it's kind of unprofessional completely, but her voice was significantly more annoying. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, on the headphones, it was just I didn't want to listen to it. I haven't listened to this track on the headphones. I'm gonna to have to check that out. <laughs> Okay, so you didn't like her on the headphones at all? No. Uh, pick between near field and big room then. Near field. Near field. Okay, so that's one for the near field. Uh, next one I got is uh, Phil Collins. Um, I love this recording. I actually got this at a record store. I'm not normally into buying old recordings, I just kind of buy whatever I can find. This one is like weird Canadian pressing. I don't know if it's better or what it is, but personally, I love the sound of this record. That being said, not trying to bias you at all, Elijah. Go ahead and talk about your different impressions. Okay, well, for the record in the big room, this one was significantly more recordy. Okay. I believe you did say it was used, right? Yeah, it is a used record. Oh, so all the pops and everything. Yeah, you get a lot more record from this record and uh, the song otherwise was good. There was actually a lot of echoing in the room, but the echoing was okay. Okay. I liked the echoing more in this song than I did in any other song. That probably has to do with the not uh, treated room, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> and um, upstairs in the near field listening, I loved it. It was amazing. I loved the vibrations mixing to the song. I felt so much more, I was able to pay attention to the song more in here. 
than uh, in there than in here because in here for a lot of these music I kind of just felt like I was gonna fall asleep. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. I like this one in near field and uh, for headphones. I had to say that I like this the most on headphones, but I can't say the same for a lot of other albums. So what did you like about it on the headphones? I love the way the vocals mix with the instruments. Okay. Was there good separation, or what? Did you hear more in the song with the headphones? I imagine there there wasn't more in the song. I I just like the way the song played more in the headphones. Okay, so that's one for the headphones. Uh. Oh, uh, this one's probably not going to be the best example. So this Cowboy Bebop album, I absolutely love this song. I picked this song because I wanted to do an instrumental song. Elijah, what was your impression of this song? I uh, don't have much to say about this one. Uh, okay, how about the big room? Big room. If I can even remember playing this in the big room. Um, it was that boy. Yeah, it had a... Uh, it had sound effects here and there, which were much more noticeable in the airfield than when I was wearing the headphones. I just feel like so much more of the song when I was wearing uh, the headphones. Um, in the big room, it really is just credit music. I didn't see anything special about it. I would have preferred to be watching a show with it in the background. I, I didn't find it anything to listen to. Okay, so now we know my son doesn't have good taste in music. Uh, well, pick a, pick a system that you like the most. Oh, I like the headphones with that one since I could hear more of it. Okay, so head, that's two for headphones, one for near field, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got Rachel and Milray. Uh, I picked this track because of the vocals. Awesome vocal track. Take it away, Elijah. I actually love this one. Really? Yeah, especially downstairs. Um, every 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 record that I haven't said anything about the echoing except for the instrumental one because it doesn't have any echoing really. There's no vocals. Two. Um, this one has that going too, and you could say it's because of the bad room, but I love the way it sounds. You love the way it sounds downstairs. Yeah. Um, what did you notice upstairs more about it? Upstairs? The song was amazing upstairs. The, vo the vocals the vocals were separated uh, a little bit more than they were downstairs, which I like that because I like being able to hear the man and the woman Separate. specifically, yeah. And I love the instruments with, instruments with them too, but... When I put on the headphones, I was a little bit disappointed to see that I wanted to see the vocals being in each ear. Yeah. I wanted that. That would have been really, really nice. But I was disappointed to see that they were both coming from the same. It was all directions. There was no separation in the voices in the headphones? Mm -hmm. It's totally weird because I totally noticed separation. When really? I, to listen to this song. I didn't notice anything at all. Okay. So, uh, your pick downstairs, upstairs, near or field. near field? Mm -hmm. For this one? Upstairs, yeah. Okay. So that's two near field, two headphones. Finally, we got Avenged Sevenfold, crazy, dynamic, hard rock. Yeah, this one was awesome, but awesome. Uh, I have to give my least favorite downstairs uh, because I thought for sure you would like this one downstairs. No, actually, the echoing with this song was terrible. So if I had a better treated room, it might be better. Yeah. Okay. I I wasn't a huge fan of the echoing with this song. Now the Room upstairs isn't treated very well either, though. But you don't get an echo upstairs. No, I don't feel anything like that upstairs. Okay. Okay. Go on with your impressions. So the the drums and the guitar were not that good down here. Something about them just felt so off from the regular song. But I really, really liked the brass instruments down here. Okay. Um. Is there brass instruments in the song? Oh, the horns, huh? Headphones. Everything popped. Everything was separated everything was just what you would expect to be when you were wearing headphones but I still prefer near field in this one again because um I I I'm a sucker for the vibrations I just love them you mean the sub by your feet yeah that's almost like not even a fair comparison though I know because there's a sub by your feet <laughs> there, but that's too subtle for them this room might be beach yeah but they're so let's take the subwoofers out of the equation where did the music sound better? Headphones. So without the subwoofers, you prefer the headphones. Mm -hmm. Without the subwoofer on uh, all the songs, what do you prefer, the headphones or the near field? With all the songs? Yes. Because you've got, okay, think about that. You got two head with, head headphones and three near field and no downstairs. Taylor Swift without any subwoofers. Your whole, the voice was annoying. The voice was annoying on the headphones, but that doesn't... So that's I think I would have preferred that downstairs. Oh, downstairs? Yeah. 
without the sub mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Phil, Phil Collins, Collins, you liked headphones, I think you said, right? Yeah, I liked headphones. Oh, so you're going to like so, headphones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this one was uh, near fields. Near fields, but you liked it with the subwoofer. Without the subwoofer, you liked headphones. Right? Yeah. Okay. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do downstairs with that. Rachel one. and Bill Ray like the separation of the voice. I thought you were gonna like this one downstairs because you raised you raised your dad downstairs, but you still like the near field and you I like, like downstairs for this, definitely. If there was no subwoofers included, I still wouldn't go for the headphones, but I really like this downstairs. You really like that downstairs. Mm -hmm. This room was great overall. It's just didn't compare to that subwoofer by my feet, but <laughs> Okay, so that I mean doesn't really offered me anything. The boy likes bass. <laughs> no, he likes the subwoofer by his feet. And so that seemed to paint him up for the upstairs system with them. I think without that, he prefers the headphones, mostly. Actually, no, that was downstairs room. The only one I preferred the headphones with was Avenger Seven. Excuse me. Okay, so that's it. I don't have any clue what I've learned, but you guys may have learned something from it. Um, till the next time, we'll see what the next video is going to be. You guys, take it easy.